So, The Grinch is another Hollywood remake, this time by Illumination, and stars Benedict Cumberbatch as the voice of said Grinch. Plot is the same as always. The Grinch is a evil little thing that wants to go and ruin the Who's fun by stealing Christmas because he sees how happy the Who's are and he's not all because of something that happened to him when he was a kid. Now, I'm all for remaking something only if it's meant to be remade. This movie plays it completely safe. Now, I'm not sure if that's for a good thing or a bad thing. Now, the one thing I do t can tell you is I like this way better than the Jim Carrey one. Oh my God, it was so much better. It, they trimmed all the fat out. It seems to get straight to the point with this one, and I appreciate that. But, this will probably be the last movie by Universal and Illumination since Warner Brothers themselves has now acquired the Dr. Seuss license. So when the Cat in the Hat comes out in animated form, guess who will it be under? WB. So I'm looking forward to seeing how they're going to do the Cat in the Hat because it can't be as worse as the one we got in 2003. Oh boy. But yeah, Benedict Cumberbatch the best thing about this movie even though the accent they tell him to use in this movie is weird okay it's like a I don't know if he's trying to be like a New Yorker type accent with the way he's trying to be like like he's from Brooklyn or something like that you see or like a fucking gangster I don't know what that voice style was they asked him to do okay but he didn't sound British so that's a good thing the dog is my second favorite thing in this movie. I love Max in this movie. He is awesome. I like the character they give him all because of his hairstyle and his facial features and all that shit. But the main standout is Susie Lou Who. I like her so much better in here than the Jim Carrey one. She is such a cute little girl in this movie. It's She's adorable. I, I, I enjoyed the aspect of kids being kids in this movie even though they're Who's. But I'm glad they made all the kids smart, okay? And they have all these weird kid-like names and shit. It's hilarious. It's like watching little kid Goonies run around the screen. It's... I like it. I like it. It's not as good as Goonies, but I still liked it. It being so safe, though, is kind of the negative. Because they didn't really try to do anything different with it. They could have made his origin, you know, him just being an evil giant, but they had to sympathize him again. They kind of went a, did a WWE route. They kind of did what they did with Dean Ambrose. They were slowly building up to him turning face, because he's a heel, as of this movie. And then when he finally does, it's like, you're building this up like a WWE match. But the problem is, he never was completely heel in the first place. He was a tweener. Okay, and when he felt bad about something, he's like, okay, you can go. Okay, I'm sorry. Here, here you go. He was a tweener. He was not a heel. Okay, so that face turn was just like uh, a more necessary of two evils. It was like inevitable. Okay, it was, where's the meanness? Be all he did was pick on a couple people in the supermarket. Tweeners do that crap all the time in wrestling. Oh, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, every tweeners, heels, and faces is a wrestling term. For those of y'all who do not watch wrestling, for like the 1% of y'all out there. Okay. But yeah. All that kind of blogged down the grade a lot for me because I wasn't really mad at him. I kind of just chuckled. Like, oh, nasty pickles. Okay. Put it in this lady's cart. All right. The only one mean thing you can kind of say he did was hit the shelf and drop the can of jelly when his little lady was trying to get it. That's about it. That's like passable at best. That wasn't even really mean. That was just like a practical joke, I guess. Whatever. 
I liked everything else about the Grinch. I love the animation. The animation is spot on. It should be. This movie costs almost over a hundred million dollars. So yeah, I did like Pharrell Williams as the narrator of this movie. Um, I kind of thought he sounded familiar, and then it came on screen. I'm like, oh, yep, that was you. It's rare that I hear him speak regular. I always hear him sing, but when I hear him talk and I realize it's him, I'm like, oh, that's you. Cool. All right. Now, the grade. Well, well, I haven't reviewed the Ron Howard one yet, but this is definitely a better grade than that's going to be because the best thing about that movie was Jim Carrey. So as of right now, I'm going to give The Grinch a B. Let me know what you guys think about The Grinch down below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? You'll be in and out in an hour and 26 minutes. It's a very, very short watch. So yes, I will see you guys in the next one.